who's ready to hit the beach with their new handmade bikinis. And of course, I added a free PDF pattern down below. I've never added a PDF pattern before, so I hope it works. Let me know. And for today's video, we'll be making this really cute Lola top. I did put the patterns for the bottoms down below. I'm just not going to sew them because it was so hard for me to sew the first time. But if you really want me to sew it and show you how to sew it, just comment down below and I'll make a part two. This top I actually made during the winter and I've been waiting to make a DIY video for this for so long. And this top honestly is so easy to make. Like if you're a beginner, you can make this. If you're gonna make it yourself, you're gonna wanna use jersey knit fabric just because everyone uses that for athletic wear and bathing suits. Personally, I do not have that fabric. So I will be using just basic regular fabric, which I'll be turning into a cute top because honestly, this can be a bathing suit or a cute top. So let's get into this. If you're following along, this is the pattern instructions you should have printed out and I know it's so aesthetic. Within this, it came with a Lola top, front shoulder strap, back shoulder strap, and an under bust strap. For me, I like to upcycle clothing, so I wanted to rework these pants. They give me such click vibes. And it, they're kind of ruined on top, so I thought I'd make it into something new. And the first thing that I'm doing because I'm upcycling is opening up my fabric, so I have to literally cut this all the way, all the seams out. If you're using regular fabric, I would suggest just folding your fabric in half. So much easier. Um, You can see I'm struggling right now. I have a free rubber band from these pants I can use for another project. If you're someone who hates cutting, buy these electric scissors. They help so much. Afterwards, you're going to flatten your fabric as much as you can and place weights on top of it and then just cut it out. I like to use my crystals as weights. As you know, if you've seen my last DIY, very aesthetic. When you're cutting, you want to make sure you're cutting very carefully around the rounded part just because you're not sewing that part and however the edges come out, you're keeping that way. So you want to make it as smooth as possible and then just cut the rest out. What's great about this is that you need four patterns total and when you cut this, you cut two out at a time. So all you have to do is cut this pattern twice. And this is how it came out. As you can see, I cut two out at the same time time and then the patterns are on the inside then i'm just going to repeat the same process over and if you're someone who loves to upcycle fabric this is a great pattern to use this because you need such little fabric you can use like probably a pair of pants or even a t-shirt to make this top over and over again which is what i'm planning on doing i want to make so many of these not in bathing suits but just regular and then again i cut two pieces out and in total you should have four which is the lining and the front. After we're gonna cut out the strap parts, which is personally to me the most annoying part ever. Who likes making straps? They're so boring. As you can see, it says lay on fold. So you wanna make sure that you put that part on a folded part of your fabric because you're gonna cut two out at a time and it's going to create a long strand. But personally for me, I can't do that because my fabric isn't long enough. So I have to cut out multiple and sew it together. But if you have regular fabric, don't worry about all that extra stress. I know for each one, you have to cut Cut out two so you want to make sure that you cut out each strap two times and finally I'm done and this is what it should look like it should, should be about that width and here I am again cutting out another strap and this is what both of them look like together so much better because they're like smaller straps than that huge long one and then we're doing the smallest strap last save the best for last am I right and I don't know why mine came out crooked but we're just gonna ignore that so moving on now we're gonna work with the top so the first thing we're gonna want to do is make sure you put those notches on I keep forgetting to put those notches on they're very important uh so if you're like me and you forget, just place your pattern on top and recut it. This notch is for what your string is going to go through. So now you're going to sew the sides, but not that small section where the notches are. You don't want to sew that. And this is a little clip of me sewing in action. And as you can see, I sewed everything but that little notch section because we're going to be putting our string through it. And I forgot we should have probably did the straps first, but we're going to work on it now. All we're going to do is fold the straps in half. You can pin it if you want, if it helps, and then you're just gonna sew it. And if you want them to be thinner, you can cut off more. As you can see, my overlock machine is cutting it like some fabric off. And this is what they look like afterwards. And because I don't have that thing that flips fabric over like this, I use a paper clip. What I do is I stick a paper clip on the edge and I put it on the inside, and then I just putting it through. And eventually it will show the right side of the fabric because right now we're on the wrong side. You just gotta keep pulling it through. It's a process, but it's worth it look there it is and you have to do this to all of your straps 
I'm telling you, straps are the worst thing to do. This is what they look like when they're all done. I have the little labels on them too. Make sure you remember which is which. And we're starting with the front strap. And what you want to do is put it through your fabric when the fabric is inside out and pin it on the edge. And then you're going to repeat it to the other one. You're doing this because when you flip it over, the straps will be connected. And this is what it looks like after I stitched it. So this is a little strap. It's all like sewn in professional. Like I love it. And now we're going to be going to the next part which we have to stitch the midsection and in order to do that you want to pin your midsection kind of down this is to help sewing the midsection a lot smoother so that way it doesn't like bunch up but what you're going to do is when you get to your sewing machine you're going to stitch across the bottom one inch up from the hem edge following the curve so you're going to stitch three eighths up from the first stitch line you're going to do all of this with just a straight stitch and you want to make sure that when you're stitching this that you're starting where the opening is on the side so if you're a little off it's fine if you make your lines a little higher higher or lower it really won't affect the piece at all and then after you're just gonna sew it this is what it looks like after it's just like a little tube section so that way we can put like the little straps through it and it should have little openings if it doesn't you know you can recut thread out it's not a big deal and now we're gonna take the longest strand which you have to cut two for this honestly if you're a size small you really don't need to sew them together because the strap alone is so long I'm just using one I'm putting that paper clip back in there and I'm gonna snake it through the tube it's a little hard because I think I might have sewn mine a little too small so it just takes a little while to get through you're having a tie center so you're gonna put the end of one in take it out and then as you can see I'm putting it through the other end and then I'm putting it through the second top because you want the opening to be in the center I really struggled with this I think I might have made my tubes a little too small and then I'm pulling it all the way through and now we have our two center pieces and back straps and honestly when we get to the back straps you want to dry your top on just because you want to find the center which I did and then you're gonna place your straps evenly across the center and stitch it on personally for me I'm not doing the straps I want to keep mine into a halter top I think it's a a lot cuter this is how it came out I absolutely love it I really love it as a halter top but it still looks cute with the straps let me know tag me if you recreate this DIY let me know how like the instructions are and if you like this top I'm definitely selling it on my shop so definitely go check it out if you're an upcycle lover